Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Um, so today let's uh, talk about the monster news from uh, X-Flag Park. Uh, it is uh, July 1st, it just ended uh, maybe an hour ago. And usually I don't go over the news, but you know, this is a big deal, just like a once in a year deal. And uh, they come out with all the big news here. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just share my uh, first impressions. And then we are here on the Game With site where they have a list of all the news. And then we'll start here from the bottom. Uh, they are going to release their second uh, film in movie theaters. I'll probably go see that. There's Hanzo. And uh, they give a rundown of the characters. Uh, it looks cool. It looks like more adult uh, than the previous movie. Uh, maybe kind of a darker uh, atmosphere, so that's cool. Uh, we can probably expect, uh, you know, some in-game um, stuff to promote it, like special characters or levels or things, so that'd be cool. And then another thing is going to be the next uh, anime from the X-Flag uh, Animation Studio. And then uh, this will be released on uh, YouTube, and I guess it's a series. Uh, first one will be on July 7th. And uh, this also, there will be uh, characters that you can get. Uh, there will be a nice, um, I guess, an extreme quest for 7 stamina. So you can make an easy uh, max look that way. And there's some character designs. Okay. And next up is this new thing called uh, Mon Spotto, <laughs> or Monster Spot. I guess it's kind of like uh, Pokemon Go, uh, where there are like uh, checkpoints out in the real world, and then you go there, uh, you can get items like, um, you know, evolution materials or orbs. Um, or you can get special abilities for your characters uh, to use in quests. Um, these are kind of minor abilities, like, um, let's see, fire characters get a boost, or you get more medals after a quest, or you get more experience, or you get extra um, spirit crest points. So that would be cool. Uh, it helped me get out of the house. <laughs> And then, version 12, lots of cool stuff in here. Uh, new update, that'll be later. Let's see, what is this? Uh, they're going to change some of the gauge abilities. Um, they're going to fix the, uh, the guide gauge for characters with no block. Um, if you can go through a block, then the gauge will also go through the block, so that's nice. Ah, this is big. They're going to add to the, uh, the temples that you can run. I guess there's going to be 10 new stages, two for each um, element. And I think this was really needed um, because like, there are some like, types of characters that are certain elements with certain null abilities where it's just not really easy to take them through any of the temples. Um, so yeah, to have more temples available uh, will mean more characters will be more easily uh, given the Able Berries, so that's pretty cool. I know that lots of players live in the temples, so they're going to be very excited about that. And then, uh, yeah, probably a new batch of characters are going to be really good for the temples. Um, so that will mean more usability for more characters. And then there are going to be four new Able Berries. Uh, one, you get a combination of attack and speed. Um, the individual um, bonuses won't be as high as the Able Berries that give you just one stat. Um, but yeah, this can kind of improve the, uh, the versatility of the able berries that you use. Um, there's another one where speed is the base, and you can get extra life or attack with that. And then the last one, or the third one, is the life-based one. And then you can get more attack or whatever there. And then the last new able berry is that um, you increase the um, efficacy of hearts that you pick up. Uh, that might be interesting. I don't really feel like I've ever felt like I've needed it, but maybe once I try it out, I'll uh, understand that it's really good. Uh, that will make it di more difficult to get the exact able berry that you want, though, of course. So, <laughs> And this is crazy. A new item called the uh, Waku Waku Stick, um, where you use it on a character, and then you can transfer one of their able berries to another character. This is insane. <laughs> So if you get a really good Ableberry, but it's on the wrong character, um, you can save it on that character, basically, until you get a Waku Waku stick. Use the stick, move that Ableberry to the character that you want. This is amazing. Um, I'm thinking that the first thing that I will do uh, when I get this is to create like a perfect like metal farming monster. 
Um, I have Undine and then um, Pandora with the, um, the score Ableberries. Um, but I really want a Pierce monster with a strong bump combo. Um, so I'll think about who I want to create as my ultimate metal farming uh, monster. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. I will definitely want to uh, get a hold of those. I might make a video later talking about like, like the ways to approach using the Waku Waku stick um, so that you can get the, uh, the best use out of it. And then... Ah, uh, yes. Starting tonight at midnight, so probably before even I put up this video, um, those new temples will be available. Um, I'm not going to stay up and play them. I'll play them after I get home from work tomorrow, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can uh, go ahead and play those already. And then there's a new V meter uh, mechanic. Um, if you beat Impossible or Colossal or the new Golzetsu quests, um, you'll build up points uh, for every uh, chest that you open that does not give you a drop. And then if you build up 15 um, of those V meter points, then you will get a free drop of the character, of the boss. And then it has a chance of having luck from 1 to 5. So this will definitely speed up uh, farming. Um, especially for the, yeah, the Impossibles and the Colossals where there is no guaranteed drop. That, this is pretty great. And then, let's see. I guess if you beat the new Golzetsu quest, uh, you get some points and then you can use those points to... Uh, get more orbs, get more spirit points, get more, or get discounts on metal purchases. And I guess the uh, the big news about the metal purchases there is that the discounts apply to the characters that you buy as well. Um, so that'll make it easier to uh, make max lux of those. And then, I think that was it for that. Aha! <laughs> Here is the sword art online. Uh, they usually announce a collaboration uh, during these big events, and today was no different. Um, so yeah, Sword Art Online. Uh, we'll get a six-star version of Kirito and Asuna. And then I have watched the two seasons of the anime, and I did like it a lot. I just went, wish it went like further. Like, I wish they went to more floors and like went into more detail about that. Because uh, the idea of the anime is really interesting. Uh, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. And then uh, here, uh, we did get the uh, Dengeki collaboration before, uh, where you could make the max luck of Asuna Kirito. Um, they will come back again this time, and then you can make the max luck of them by completing missions. And then for the people that have made one of them already, the max luck, um, they're going to make it so that if you fuse two max lucks together, uh, they can get an Ableberry. Um, so that'll be good for both newer players and older players. Um, and then actually I was kind of considering uh, putting a hero scroll on them anyway, um, because I was just starting out when I got their max luck. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't do that, <laughs> uh, but to have this, you know, be an option for me to make now is very, very cool. Um, so yeah, that should be awesome. And then finally, there's the information about the new Transcendent Monsters, and I really liked how they did the presentation of this. Uh, they gave like little teaser movies. And then based on how well you know the character, then that would be like how quickly you, you know, know who it is. Um, the first one was, well, well <laughs> let's start from the bottom. Oh, they're all mixed up. Okay, we'll just start from the top then. First is Lucifer. This was crazy. I, I kept putting off kind of predicting when she would get her transcendent form uh, for a while. Um, but I felt like last year at X Flag Park, I felt like things were kind of coming to a head. She was still the most popular character in the game, even though her character was really old. And um, they did sort of uh, create a new version of her, uh, but that was in Haitoku Pistols. So that was kind of a left turn. So she did get a new form, but it wasn't her transcendent form. Uh, but this year she did get it. I felt like either this or the anniversary in August was kind of the last chance uh, before you know fans started throwing chairs, but uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, based on the Ascension version, and then this is the, uh, the New Year's version, in case you got one of those. And then I have her. I have two of her, actually. I just pulled one of her yesterday. Um, so I'm going to transcend both, and then I'll make a monster review video of her, of course. Uh, but real quick... Um, she loses the gauge, which I am thrilled about. Um, still has barrier, 
Uh, she has an energy circle, the double energy circle. And uh, yeah, this is up and down, so there's one like kind of above her and below her. Um, so this will cover much more of the screen. And then, um, yeah, my biggest complaint about the energy circle before was all the empty space, like inside of it. Um, that's covered a little bit better uh, with this bump combo, so that's very cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk about her in length uh, during the review video. And then uh, next up is Oreo. Um, I was not expecting her. Um, I was kind of expecting maybe like a series. They would take like one series and then do like all three characters from there. And then there was the rumor of the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. We're all going to get their transcendent forms. Uh, probably, uh, it's just guessing, but maybe X-Flag heard this rumor and they're like, all right, we're not going to follow that because that'll spoil the surprise. Um, so they went for kind of a mix of uh, different series. Um, but yeah, this is Oryo. She was uh, Sakamoto Ryoma's uh, wife, I think. And actually, if you look at her artwork, it's like a mirror image of the transcendent form of uh, Ryoma. Um, so if you put them like left side by side, uh, you'll see the swords out and then the dragons out together. So it's pretty cool. Um, she is in a cat suit, which I am very happy about. <laughs> and I'm especially appreciative of the angle from behind. Uh, she picks up no block, which is awesome. Um, I don't have a lot of wood no block characters. Um, I have some drop monsters, I have dead rabbits, I have um, Takasugi, but I only have one of him, so I want to keep him in the evolution form. Um, so yeah, to have another no block character is great. And then uh, maybe I want to use her in uh, Armageddon. And um, I've been hearing more from like you know top JP players that. Um, Armageddon is really good as a character. Um, he is a Pierce power type with weak point slayer, so that means big, big damage from a uh, drop monster. Um, so maybe I'll look at that quest again and maybe think about starting to make the uh, max luck. Uh, but yeah, Oreo should be good in there. Um, also, I don't have Genghis Khan, so she covers that uh, niche, so very happy about that. Uh, next is Mu. And this one I was very proud of myself, because I knew who was going to be um, when we saw the island. Uh, what Mu was was like a uh, lost continent. Um, in the same uh, series as like uh, Atlantis and uh, Nazca. Uh, but anyway, I knew it was Mu. Uh, bounce with super no gravity barrier, which is good for him since he's a power type. Um, I don't know about the bump combo, we'll have to try that out to see. And then the homing strike shot. Um, just a ton of homing shots, um, but apparently these explode on contact, um, so they will even take down the homing absorbers, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, looking forward to him. I have two of him, probably I'll uh, transcend both. And then finally is Napoleon, and um, she's kind of a mix of the evolution and ascension form. Uh, Pierce with Minesweeper and Null Gravity Barrier and Deity Slayer. Um, command Strike Shot the medium range spread, and then the Blast Pump combo. Uh, looks very strong, very versatile. Um, I have the standard version, which is this artwork up here. I really like the movie version down here though, so maybe next time the movie version comes around, I'll try to pull for that. Um, but yeah, I have all of these characters just by a miraculous stroke of luck. So you can look forward to those uh, review videos uh, soon, hopefully. Okay, I think that'll do it for the news, and uh, we'll see you again. Take care.